How much power will this little engine make right out of the box? Well, the answer might surprise you. Stay tuned as we dyno test the 212cc Predator engine. Okay, let's take a look at what it says on the box. Nothing here, just a bunch of stuff. And nothing here, it doesn't say anything about horsepower. It seems the only place you'll find out how much horsepower this engine makes is on the coupon, because it doesn't say anything on the box. According to the coupon, the engine's good for 6.5 horsepower, which is kind of what I expected. Now this is interesting, the coupon also states the engine makes 9.7 foot-pounds of torque. Just for fun, let's do the math. Horsepower is calculated by multiplying torque by RPM and then dividing by 5252. Let's plug in some numbers. The coupon says 9.7 foot-pounds of torque. We'll put that here. The coupon doesn't mention RPM. However, the box indicates max speed is 3800 RPM. So let's use that number. Uh-oh, the horsepower calculates to 7.0. Seems legit. Let's look at the box again. While it's true there's no mention of horsepower, it does indicate the engine makes 8.1 foot-pounds of torque at 2,500 RPM. The problem is, 8.1 foot-pounds of torque at 2,500 RPM calculates to 3.85 horsepower. Seems we got ourselves a mystery. Today we'll be using the Prony Dyno. This type of dynamometer has been around for just about 200 years. They were originally used for measuring the power of steam engines and farm animals, or something like that. Hey, who writes this stuff? Anyway, just about any modern dyno can be traced back to the prony dyno. Prony dynos are simple and accurate, but are considered somewhat brutal. This modern prony dyno uses a low inertia disc brake rotor and hydraulic caliper to apply resistance to the engine. When activated, the caliper will clamp down on the brake rotor and the energy is then transferred through a series of linkages and finally dumped across the load cell. High speed data acquisition equipment is used to record the stress across the load cell and then we can accurately measure the torque the engine develops. The engine RPM is captured by an inductive proximity sensor that counts the series of holes drilled in the spinning brake rotor. The dyno is controlled by the large handle on the left. This handle is connected to the hydraulic braking system. The little blue handle that looks like a bicycle brake is actually the throttle lever. Operating the dyno takes some practice, but it's fairly simple and gives good results. In the pursuit of science, we'll be pushing this engine to its limits. In today's video, I'm not expecting any explosions. However, in future videos, there is the potential for disaster. Anyway, in the unlikely event of an engine failure, I'll be operating the dyno from behind a blast shield. For safety reasons, the fuel tank was removed and we'll be using a remote fuel reservoir. Speaking about fuel, the gasoline we'll be using is common 87 octane with 10% ethanol. This type of fuel is what most people use, but it can actually cause long-term damage to the carburetor. We always do multiple dyno runs when testing an engine, but in the interest of saving time, we'll only show one run. Actually, watching a small engine on a dyno is somewhat boring, unless it explodes. <laughs> After multiple dyno tests, the brake system seems fine and not too hot. Alright, it's time to look at some data. Over on the right side of the chart we can see some wacky stuff going on. Keep in mind this engine's operating under a governor and it takes time for the throttle to react to the load. But I also think something else is going on. 
Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the throttle linkage. On closer inspection, it appears the throttle linkage is binding or the governor is not properly adjusted. Now let's take a look at the throttle when the dyno load is applied. Yeah, the throttle just isn't responding to the load like you'd expect it would. Anyway, this video is about the performance of a box stock engine. Perhaps what we're seeing is normal for the engine. Overall, I think it's a minor issue. Well, the good news is the engine delivers a bit more than the advertised horsepower. We were able to record 6.65 horsepower at around 3200 RPM. Of course, this is even with the minor issue in the governor. Not too shabby. Peak torque was recorded at around 2500 RPM, and we show a very nice 11.79 foot-pounds of torque. Again, not too bad. So what did we learn from this video? Well, the engine's affordable at $99. We've confirmed that it makes 6.5 horsepower. It has some minor flaws, but no big deal. Looks real good in a bikini. And the engine's upgradable, and we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> hey, let's have some fun. It's story time with Uncle Jimbo. Let's talk about chocolate chip cookies. If you wanted to make a batch of cookies, the recipe is widely available online and you can even find it in books. You would first need to collect all the ingredients that are called out in the recipe. Mix them well. Place them in the oven. Set the timer for 15 minutes. If you follow the instructions, you can now enjoy some fresh baked cookies. On the other hand, if you didn't follow the recipe, you may wind up with a giant cookie with three eyes, one arm, and farts, raisins, and unicorns. Or, I think those are raisins. Uh, naturally, you would vomit or worse. This guy would yell at you. This girl would yell at you. And you would be a sad little boy. Well, that's a bizarre story. But the point is, there's a recipe for making cookies, and there's also a recipe for making more power. But just like the cookies, if you don't follow the recipe, you'll be very disappointed. Here are the ingredients for making more power. In the next video, we will take all these parts and build a stage one engine and test it on the dyno. Hey, if you're still watching, you must have liked the video. Why don't you smash that like button now? Also, if you want to see this Predator-powered car in future videos, click on the subscribe button. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss any of this. Oh, and don't forget to click the notification bell. If you want, go ahead and throw a comment down below. See you real soon.